live from beautiful Coors Field here in Denver, Colorado. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Cleveland Guardians going up against the Colorado Rockies. John Shambi on the play-by-play -play with you. Chris Singleton providing the color and singing the big bat in the lineup so far this year. Ryan McMahon. Yeah, Boog, he's one of the pillars of this lineup. And when you have a guy like that that's so consistent and so productive, you want to make sure you can do whatever you can to get him to the plate. Get him as many at-bats as you can in a ball game. If you do that, you've got a really good chance of scoring a lot of runs. Yeah, he's definitely had a struggle so far this year, as evidenced by that inflated whip. But he's going to have to find a way to limit the base runners, put his team in a position to win a ball game. So we know he's prepared. We know this guy's a competitor. And we'll watch how he works in this one. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Got it, Chuck. The second base. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there was just no one there to knock it down. Here's Andres Jimenez. One Not close with that one, and it's one to know. Freeman aboard here at first with nobody out. Just off the inside edge. Just missed with a good breaking ball in. Looking for that hitter to chase and perhaps get some weak contact or a swing and miss. Good job on both sides. And that's a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Now it's Jose Ramirez. Good power, not great in the OBP department. Look out! That hit him. And it hit him. Well, there's no hiding in this spot. Base is loaded now, and no more wiggle room for any more mistakes like that. Base is loaded. Nobody out. David Fry getting ready to hit. There's a strike. 95 of that one. Base is juiced. No outs. That's hard hit in the line. Into the bleachers and gone. That's one way to quiet the crowd. His second home run of the series. It's 4-0. Well, that one won't stay below the radar. That made a lot of noise. Gabriel Arias digs in now. Late on that fastball. No ball. Well, a uh, really strike. rough inning out there on the mound. And uh, this is one of those where you learn a lot about a guy's toughness and his ability to turn the page and keep pressing forward. Swing, and that's ripped towards right center. And that's a base hit. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. That Great good. swing, yeah. nice balance, and weight transfer. Good. And he got it to drop yeah, in yeah, out yeah. there in the deep part drop of the field. Yeah. So, man aboard. Here's the rookie right fielder. And he pumps in a strike. Well, clear game plan coming in this one. Be aggressive against this starter. Try to knock him out of this ball game. And it looks like they're on their way to doing that. Get into the bullpen a little bit early. Could be a great offensive day. Right through there for a strike. And that's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation, runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. And here it comes. Good and eye right there. It's a good take. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. 
couldn't catch up to the heater. Man, there was no deviating from the fastball right there. He just kept coming after him with it. Here it is. Hit it if you can. And he just couldn't find a way to put it in play. And at first, Esteban Floria. Run around the cone. Swing and a miss. Throw safe. Good eye in that spot. Well, they've been able to score four runs off of him in this inning, and this is where you want to just max out, get as much as you can, give him one of those tough innings where it's going to be hard for him to recover in the next one. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Man at second. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Austin Hedges stands in. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. This to center field. Doyle grabs it on the run. But they leave their mark on the inning as we get another look at the grand slam. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Denver, and on the hill in this one, Tristan McKenzie. Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club, and coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled, batting below 200 on the year. It seems that they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. And now the shortstop, Ezekiel Tovar. Backed off the plate that time. <laughs> On the corner for a strike and a count one and one. Back to back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The why to kick the pitch. The other way. And that's a fair ball. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's got a leadoff double. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Here's Jake Cave now. And yeah, that's off the inside edge. Ball one. And a pitch. That's oh. inside. Tobar stands at second with no outs. Oh. Next offering in there for a strike. Two, ball. Two balls and a strike. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. And a 2-1 on the way. Yep. And a good eye oh, there. Tried to backdoor him with that slider right there, but just missed off the plate. Good pitch, though. And that one is lifted in the air. Sizes this one up and makes the grab. Runner tags it second, and he makes it up to third with one away. Batting third. The third baseman, 
Bryant. Time to check out the Rockies lineup. And so far this year, this has not been a very good offense. Well, in this day and age, if you can't slog and get on base, that OPS has to be at a certain level. If you're going to produce runs, give your pitchers an opportunity as they're facing tough offenses as well. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. That one is hammered right field. Back there. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. The runner from third comes across as they get one back. It's 4-1. Well, the first reaction was bad, and it created the wrong angle. I think it was a catchable ball, but because he doesn't get a good read off the bat, turns it into a double. Man at second with one away. So in now for Colorado, Lowry's Montero. Chopped to the right side, Ramirez. And he takes it himself for the out. Batting fifth. The center fielder. So two down now, and here is Renton Doyle. It's been a tough stretch for him at the plate. Barely hitting over the Mendoza line this month. And a curve is down and in. Two outs with a runner at third. Pulls that one foul. And a pitch. In for a strike. One and two. Here comes a pitch. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. They limit the damage here. Rocks with a run scoring double. It's now 4 1. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Top of the second. Here's Brian Rocchio. And the right hander back to work. In the air, left field. Beck makes the grab, one down. The center fielder, number two. So the Tyler Guardians lineup turns over. Freeman. Stepping in, Tyler Freeman. Scored the first run of the game back in the first after a single to reach base. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he Double. did. One strike. Right through there for a strike. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Now, when you throw the same pitch back to back, that's how you want to do it. Set him up in the strike zone, then extend a little bit from there and see if you can get him to chase. Nicely done with the slider right there. Jimenez stands in now and watches strike one. The strong second inning is a confidence builder for him, a relief for his manager. Doesn't have to get into that bullpen quite as early. Late on that fastball. No ball. Gets a piece and it stays 0-2. Two outs, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Nothing doing for the Guardians there, but they lead it four to one. Back here at Coors Field, bottom half of inning number two. Now the Rockies catcher, Jacob Stallings. McKenzie back to work. And that is in for a strike going one. Just missed. Larry Bullard making the calls behind the plate for us in this one. Pretty good strike zone. Well reviewed by those we talked to around the league. Yeah, he's an umpire. He doesn't get a lot of looks from players. Maybe here and there once in a while, but he's appreciated back there. 
So a foul ball makes it one and two. What about an umpire's height? How much of a role does that play in your experience and what the strike zone is like? Yeah, I think it pushes the strike zone up a little bit, which, you know, as a former hitter, you like that. You wanted the ball up. You didn't want to have to deal with stuff down in the zone consistently. And it's even up. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four umpires, nicknames, hometowns, and as well, hobbies listed, just so you can kind of... Small the talk the umpire a little bit. Hunter. That's great. And here's the first baseman, Hunter Goodman. And a foul ball. One out, base is empty. Pitch one misses ball. there. One, one and one. One down, base is empty. That That's one misses, and the count's even at two. Can't Just pull. missed. Three, two down. Flails at that one. It's a strikeout. Well, that was a tough slider right there. He couldn't get a piece of it just to try to keep Slide the at-bat right alive. And no left, hitters right. will tell you, that no slider, right. when a guy's able to really tunnel the pitch where it looks like a fastball and then late, has a really good... And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. Top half of the Leading third off, inning, and now the first baseman, the first baseman Jose Ramirez. Jose Ramirez. Ramirez. We've been a rough start on the mound for this guy. This third inning so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. one. Just missed. field line that's a base hit and the leadoff man aboard the bat tough bat game for him so hit. far Boog another, another hit, hit, hit and they've just been hit, knocking hit, him hit. around through the first Whoa. two plus he's got to get things back on track maybe junk a pitch that isn't working or he might not last much longer next to hit David Fry he's already homered here in this one a base hit throw back in quickly first and second now with nobody out well that started and ended pretty quickly no messing around right there timing on the swing was good able to shoot the ball up the middle didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked but that's a good approach paying off so up next Gabriel Arias And downstairs. The oh. 1 0. Wouldn't oh, no. chase that time. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Kicks and deals. That's Off the ball. mark there. And it's 3 0. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations. And right here with a middle of the order hitter up, runner in scoring you, position, mate. he's got to find a way to throw a quality strike. Pretty easy walk right there. Last the pitch wasn't even much to think about. And now the right fielder struck out swinging his first time. Misses, that's five straight. Well, this is a tough situation with the bases loaded, but the healthiest mindset is just try to get outs one hitter at a time. Oh. A 
next offering upstairs. Pressure's on right here. 2 0 count, base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. The pitch. There's a the strike. They need a strikeout. And you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop up, something, but you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. Right through there for a strike. Next offering misses. Three and two down. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Base is juiced, no outs. On the ground, right side. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. The throw is still in time, but a run comes across. Two on, one out. And now it's Esteban Florio. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. This one in the air. McMahon should have this one. Snags it for the second out. Oh, that's a frustrating at bat right there. Big okay. opportunity okay. and just missed okay. it. I know he wanted to do some damage. Next guy up and pick him up. Austin Hedges now. He's 0 for 1. And Chris, his big strength is defense. But it is interesting. In today's world of baseball, compared to when you played, a good defensive catcher is considered differently. Whatever you get offensively is a bonus, but he's got to put the fingers down. He's got to present pitches to the umpire. They're going to help his pitcher get more strikes. Swings through that one for strike two. I think the other component is putting down the finger that the pitcher wants to throw and being on the same page, and that's something that this guy does really well. Gets in sync with his pitchers. Fry, the runner at third, Arias on at second with two down. Swing and a miss, struck him out. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Guardians five and the Rockies one. Set for the bottom of the third. So in now for Colorado, Alan Trejo. And a pitch. He's been known to jump all over the first pitch, so that seems like a missed opportunity right there. And the righty deals. And a swing and a miss. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. Outside low, and the count is even two and two. And the right hander deals on the ground. Jimenez tosses the first. Lead off man retired here in the third. Now batting. Shortstop. Ezekiel. Tovar. Ezekiel Tovar digging in for the Rockies. Double leading off the ball game. Then came around to score the first run of the game. Swing and a pop up. Jimenez in position. They got it for out number two. Now bad right fielder, Jake. Jake K. digging in for the Rockies. Fly to right his first time. Cave measures six feet even, batting second in today's lineup, and they traded for him earlier this year. First pitch misses. 
the Rockies down by four here in the last half of the third. And there's a rocket into the outfield. And that's going to get into the corner. Around first and hustling for second. And that's a two-bagger. He was all over that one. That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. Man in scoring position with two away. Next to hit for the Rockies, Ryan McMahon doubled in his first A.B. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Here comes the 1. Now this is in the air down the line. Florial moving under it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. One hit, one left. Three innings complete. It's the Guardians five and the Rockies one. And welcome back to the ballpark. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Brian Rocchio. Wind in the pitch. Out to short. Tobar. Gathers and throws to first. Lead off hitter retired in the fourth. Oh, boy, we talked about how the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. Here's Tyler Freeman to hit. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. That one at the knees for a strike. Oh and one. Right side, hard hit. Tosses to yep. first. He's out. And a couple of quick outs. Now back. Second, Second base. Andre Jimenez. Two outs, base is empty. Andres Jimenez. The next to hit. One for two. Right through there for a strike. That's way outside. And one and one. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game. And looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. Yeah, that's downstairs and outside. There's a strike. Two two. The pitch. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the ball alive. Next one misses, and it's three and two. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Two down, nobody on. Bounce to the left side. Fair ball. Now he'll turn for second, and that rolls into the corner. In safely, it's a double, and his second hit. Now battle. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control, and it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. Here's Jose Ramirez. He's always a threat at the plate. He's been flexing his power in the majors for a long time now. His first career home run was to right field right here inside Yankee Stadium in 2014. The right fielder that day for the Yankees, Ichiro Suzuki. Even he couldn't catch that one. Runner at second, two down. Next offering in there for a strike. One ball. And the count one even one and one. Activity in the bullpen. Cal Quantrill up and throwing. He's trying for third. That one fouled off. Out 
out to short. Tobar. Fires over to first. Third out. Guardians lead one. They lead this one, though, 5 1. And we're back. And go. now oh, here's Lowry's Montero. The designated hitter. In Lowry. McKenzie Montero. back to work. Not right even close there. And that's ball one. That clips the corner. The line of the pitch. Fastball for a strike. And the pitch. Just missing there. Two balls, two strikes. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. 2-2 two -two now. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. 2-2 two -two on the way. And down on strikes he goes. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that. Well, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch. Tailing away from the hitter, rolling away with some good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. Tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. Doyle in the box now as he leaves that one up high. Next pitch inside. Two, Two balls, balls, no strikes. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Florial makes the grab for the second out. The bat. The catcher. Jacob, Jacob Stallings now. Oh, oh for one with a fly out to center. Right through there for a strike. It's just been an impressive outing so far. Continues to pound the zone pitch after pitch. And he's been able to stay down. That's what's been key. Righty to the plate. That one misses. And it's one and two. Two down, nobody on. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And a curve misses outside. Okay. And another ball. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Swing it a foul straight back. Looking. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. One, two, three, go the Rockies. They're down here, five to one. All set for the start of the inning. So win now for Cleveland, David Fry. The pitch. Late with the swing there. Oh, 
Swing and a miss. They can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Wouldn't chase that time. Line drive, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Peter Lambert out of the game, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. Cal Quantrill on the pitch here. Still Jump pretty early in the ball game, so Cal. this bullpen has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. Digging in, Gabriel Arias. Hey, and a strike in there. No ball, one strike. Fry gets his lead at first with nobody out. Ground ball could be two. Tovar to second. There's one, and that's two. Well, almost any time you roll over and send a two ball to short at this level, you can pretty much count on a double play. Middle infielders are just so reliable, and they work on these plays all the time, so it almost becomes like second nature. Swing and he breaks his bat. That's a foul ball. Two outs. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Quattro back to work. In the air right side. Settles under it. Brings it in. And that is that. Back here in Denver, we, we head to the bottom of the fifth. So in the now for Colorado, Hunter, Hunter Goodman. Goodman. And he deals. Down the line. On the move. Long run, tracks it down. One down. Now left he was all over that Your first pitch fastball. Just barely <laughs> missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. Jordan Beck will hit next. That's through there for a strike. Base is empty one away. Last half of inning number five. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That's back. And that one's gone into the bleachers. A massive home run. And they close the gap. It's 5-2. That gives them hope they can pull off this comeback. They just need a few more swings like that, and they're back in business. It's really impressive how he's able to take an outside fastball, get around it, and hit it with authority to the post side. Most guys are popping up weakly to the opposite field. So one out, nobody on. Alan Trejo digging in for the Rockies. That one missing inside. One ball, no strike. The pitch. And he hits a ground ball right side. Gets it to first. Two down. Now batter. Short stop. Ezekiel Tobar. Ezekiel Tobar digging in for the Rockies. In there for a strike at the top of the zone.
Oh, he hit him. That got him. And Take that got him pretty flush. Well, he just couldn't get out of the way of that one. And that's not an easy thing to do when you've got a fastball coming in. Hard. So two down. Jake Cade digging in for the Rockies. And first offering is fouled off. At the belt and fires. Oh. Just oh. missed. Tobar off of first with two away. In the air, left side. Florial on his way over. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. But the Rockies do get one back via the solo homer. It's now 5-2. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Coors Field, all set for the top of the sixth. Stepping up for the Guardians, Esteban Florial. And here comes. And that misses off the outside edge. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Tie block. Up and loosening in the pen. Lawrence also throwing. Oh. And there's a ball. Two and oh. Ground ball up the middle. And a base hit. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's oh, a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big okay. hole and get himself a hit. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. At the play, Austin Hedges. Yeah. Right through there for a strike. Hedges, 31 years old, and he was a second-round pick back in 2011. Nobody out, runner at first. Good eye by Hedges. Double play ball to second. Off balance feet, there's one. And they get him easily at first. It's a double play. Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute them. Right there, really nice footwork, and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off. Ryan Rocchio digs in for the Guardians. The shortstop takes the ball. ran inside almost got him straighten him up a little bit and a ground ball to first he takes it himself to the bag and that'll do it one hit in the inning but no one left part of the order three four five coming up it's the Guardians five and the Rockies two Well, we go bottom six. Here's the third baseman, Ryan McMahon. The wide to kick the pitch. That's a strike. And it's 0 1. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Number 36 appears to be getting loose. Bible getting loose as well. Left hand hitter waits. One ball, one strike. That one ripped, but foul. Ball, and two. another ball. Two and two. 
That one ripped. And it bangs off the out-of-town scoreboard. The relay throw. Not going to get him. He's in there. Two hits for him in this one. Both for extra bases. Got to feel good about that. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. And the batter now, Elauri's Montero. In there for strike one. Runner at second, nobody out. That to right, under it. Brings it in, runner tags at second. And he's in safely at third with one out. The center field, number nine, Doyle. Next for Colorado, Brenton Doyle. This is all about situational hitting. It's crucial in this spot. Do whatever it takes to put the ball in play, and hopefully you nope, find a gap in way. the defense. And a good eye there. Right. Next offering in there for a strike. That's right, strike right. one. Six. Swings through that one out in front that time. The punch out there, and now two gone. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of his own right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count, get the guy in the box on his heels, and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Stones in the box now. No balls and a strike. Late on that fastball. Slider misses outside. Just off the outside edge, and it's two and two. And a pitch. Three two now. Hunter Goodman up next for the Rockies. Two outs. Struck him out swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. We're through six full. It's the Guardians five and the Rockies two. New inning getting started. And now the center fielder, Tyler Freeman. Number two, Tyler Quantrill back to work. Fastball for a strike. 0 and 1. And that's in the dirt. Wouldn't chase that time. Misses and the count's full. Bows that off to the left and will do it again. The wind of the pitch. Ripped on the ground a second. 
on to first. So it was a long battle at the plate, but they still managed to get the out. Andres Jimenez getting ready to hit. Fastball for a strike. Base is empty one away. Here the top half of inning number seven. That breaking ball is in for a strike and quickly okay. it is nothing in two. And they'll do it again. You could see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Got it swinging. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove side across the strike zone, especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. Ramirez in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Clobber to right field. Way back. That was blasted to the moon. His 13th home run of the season, and they add to their lead. It's 6-2. Already playing with the lead, and now they're celebrating a home run. They're having a great time out there. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, and gets the home run. Base is empty with two away. David Fry digs in now. There's a swing and a drive. And that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. It's a double, his fourth hit of the game. And his hot hitting continues. Well, they kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. So digging in, Gabriel Arias. And that's off the inside edge. One and oh. Man on second, two down. Breaking ball gets the corner for a strike. Man at second. And another ball. Still two and two after the foul ball. Quattro back to work. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. He goes down looking. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now 6-2. Major League Baseball is on the show. We're back in a new picture here to start the bottom of the seventh. Number 36. Coming on to face a righty here, and he's been fantastic against him this year. His numbers in those matchups are very good. So in now for Colorado, Hunter Goodman. The, first the Rockies in striking Hunter. distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And there's a foul ball.
Swing and a miss. And that's strike two. That one just misses. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Can't connect on the curveball. Struck him out. Well, oh, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the now plate. Right. Two Let's strikes is the sort of pitch you're hoping go for. Ahead. A bit of a mistake, and I'd say in a very hittable location, but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. Smoked on the ground a second. The throw to first. Two up, two down. Fastball groove right down the middle. Okay. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. Second a hard grounder, pitch. but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the second baseman, Alan Trejo. Here's a high chopper, Rokio. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Starting to run out of outs as they're unable to chip away. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Guardians six and the Rockies two. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Justin Lawrence. And he's been really shutting down hitters from the right side of the plate this year. Not a lot of hard contact. Not a lot of hits. Period. Now it's the right fielder, 0 for 3, the right a fly out, a ground out, Jonathan a strikeout. Rodriguez. Here comes a pitch. And ball one. He's a bullpen arm that keeps the ball in the ballpark, but obviously out of the bullpen, you're looking to limit home runs. Yeah, and that's why he's such a high leverage arm. Just doesn't matter for him. He looks at attacking the zone and attacking hitters regardless of the situation. Swing and a miss. And a count running two. Wouldn't chase that time. He just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Florial in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Action in the pen down there. Ty Block getting ready to come on for Bud Black. He swings and fouls one off. On the ground right side. Steps out first for the out. Now bad. Catcher. Austin. Hedges. Now the catcher up to hit. Austin Hedges. This is a guy who's in the lineup first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position. And that's what he does. Kicks and fires. <laughs> and that one hit 97 on the gun. The hitting's going to come around. He's going to figure it out. But right now, his big asset is the way he plays the game on defense. Two down, nobody on. One and two. And that skips in the dirt. That one drifts inside. Three balls. Great. The pitch. Fights it off. He'll see another. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. 
side, and that is ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Oh, a great back and forth, and that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches, and somehow, bro, he found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. And first offering is fouled off. Swing and a miss. Chased out of the zone. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Right-hander kicks, deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Fouls it off, still one and two. Always having a tough time getting the pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Two outs. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. The shortstop takes the ball. Kicks and deals. That misses the zone. And the count is filled up. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. That's to third. McMahon here fires over to first. And that will end the inning. One left for the Guardians. They lead it 6-2. to two. Back now, now new pitcher on the mound as we roll into number the bottom of the eighth. Tanner Bybee. Well, he's a big-time strikeout guy out there. This season, averaging more than one per inning. So the Rockies lineup turns over. Here's the Rockies' leadoff hitter, Ezekiel Tovar. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. On a line, base hit. Clearly, he was ready to hit right there. Now, just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. Doesn't come naturally for most hitters. And first offering is fouled off. Pitch. Fastball in for a strike. And it's 0-2. Activity in the bullpen. Xavier Curry getting loose out there. The Rockies down by four. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. The next offering misses. And the count one and two. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. That one ripped right center field. That's back. And that one is gone. He sends it out of here. His first homer of the year. And they cut into the deficit. It's 6-4. Chris, we knew this moment was coming for him soon. Yep, and it finally came. We knew it was only a matter of time before he's going to connect with one just like that. Just too good of a hitter at the plate. Well, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. Ryan McMahon. Oh. And that's off. 
the inside edge. Ball one. Left-hand batter waits. Up the middle, and he knocks it down. And they get the out after the ricochet. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. So next will be the four-hole hitter for the Rockies, Elauris Montero. First pitch, and he just misses. Still only one out here in the inning. Comes up empty. That's strike two. One ball. Two strikes. Ground ball left side. Dives and he can't hang on. He decides to hold on to it and the defense comes away with nothing. Man at first with one gone. Brenton Doyle digging in for the Rockies. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. That misses, and that's ball one. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. The tying run at the plate. Little chopper rolls foul. Righty delivers. And that one fouled off. Hit hard on the ground is short. To oh. second, there's one. To oh. Ramirez, two. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. It's a two-run lead now at 6-4. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound. Ty Block. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Tyler Freeman digs in for the Guardians. The center fielder, number two, Tyler Freeman. And a pitch. Out to short, Tobar. Over to first. Yeah, up down. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit. Rolled over on it and beat it into the ground. And up next for Cleveland, Andres Jimenez. Block, a 6-1 lefty, 33 years old, and he's playing today in his home state of Colorado. Off the mark there, ball one. Outside corner, there's a strike. On the ground, right side. Tosses to first. Two quick outs here in the top of the night. Now Running out of chances to pad the lead. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Two outs, base is empty. Jose Ramirez digs in for the Guardians. He's already homered in this game. There's a strike. The old one is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. One strike. Two down, nobody on. Here at the top of the ninth. Now towards right center. That's well struck. That one hops against the fence. It's a double. Third hit of the night for him. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it, and that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. The bat. Next for the Guardians is the designated hitter, David Fry. And remember, it was a grand slam from him back to the first inning. Well, he made an early statement with that swing. It changed everything about the game right out of the jump.
That's off the mark. And it's one and oh. Two outs and one in scoring position. And that's ripped to the left. Base hit. The throw in. But it's offline. And they're up by three. It's around the board and picks up an RBI. 112 miles per hour. Seem to explode off the bat right there. He put everything together on that swing, so that's one of those knocks that feels a little extra sweet. Two outs, runner at first. Now the third baseman, Gabriel Arias, one for three. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out and he makes all the plays. One's in there, 0 and 1. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. And that's the third out. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now a 7 4 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And we're back. Leading and here's the catcher, the Jacob Stalling. The catcher, Jacob Stalling. Wind in the pitch. Here Checks the swing. Now an appeal to first. And that's going to be ruled a swing. And a pitch. And he gets that fastball by him upstairs. Got him. One away. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Next to hit for the Rockies, Hunter Goodman. That one misses in the dirt. One ball, no strike. Base is empty one away here in the last half of inning number nine. Next offering in there for a strike. And that is strike one. And a big swing and a miss. That was a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see. And he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. And that one is lifted in the air. A dive and he can't haul it in. Now you know what they say, he couldn't have thrown it out there any better than that. And certainly, new arm out of the bullpen, Tim Heron. And he's done a great job keeping the ball in the park this year. The numbers stack up with some of the best in the game. Here in the bottom of the ninth, one out. Next for Colorado, Jordan Beck. Lefty continues to work, but the closer getting loose in the bullpen. Next offering okay. is down low. And now the lefty. No. Well, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. And he deals. And he walked him on four pitches. They're not ready to go home quite yet. The bat, number 13, second baseman, Allen. Allen Trejo digging in for the Rockies. Three ground outs already. He's 0 for 3. Ball one, no strikes. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Tying run at the plate. Fought off foul. We 
With the tying run at the plate, we're in the last half of the ninth inning. Got him! Two away. Now got him. So the lineup flips over. Ezekiel Tova digging in for the Rockies. That one finds the zone. It's 0 and 1. Going at bat can be a little bit of a dance. Strike one here, but a few more pitches. We'll see how it turns out. The pitch. Hit to right, and that ought to do it. And that'll do it. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. This one finishes with a final of 7-4. to four. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.